Welcome back to Wildlife Hotel. I'm Eric. And I'm Jeffrey. We spent 26 days in Japan and we went everywhere from Tokyo to Osaka and everywhere in between. Japan is an incredible place, a truly life-changing experience for the both of us. And we wouldn't be us if we didn't share those adventures with you. Today we share with you our adventure to the Tokyo Sky Tree in Tokyo, Japan. The Tokyo Sky Tree is the tallest building in Japan at 2,080 feet tall. That's 634 meters for everyone outside the US. Which is like the whole world. And it's the fifth tallest human-made structure in the whole world. Tallest tower by definition, but not the tallest building. Semantics. At the base of the Tokyo Sky Tree is the Tokyo Sky Tree Town, a collection of shops, restaurants, a museum, a planetarium, and even an aquarium. It's basically a shopping mall, but like with way more stuff. There's a Pokemon Center, a Shonen Jump store, a Kirby Cafe. Stick around to the end of the video if you want to see more about that. A Tokyo Sky Tree gift shop, this place that sells a bunch of pop culture stuff, Ghibli, Hello Kitty, Strix G, I don't even know what that is, and we haven't even made it to the tower yet. That doesn't really sound like a mall that I've ever been to, but I guess it's Japan. A couple of escalators take you to the main attraction, enter through the gate and follow the path under a colorfully lit ceiling into an equally colorful elevator. The elevator here was actually a lot of fun. The walls have light up gems that change their configuration as you climb, and there's a screen that shows you how high you are and even how fast you're going. The music's not half bad either. The first stop is the Tembo deck at 350 meters high on the 340th floor. According to the Tokyo Sky Tree website, you can see up to 70 kilometers away from this level. It offers a 360 degree panoramic view, spans 10 floors in height, and it can certainly change your sense of perspective and scale. How existential you want to get about that is up to you. North, south, east, west, there are no wrong choices here. Every direction offers an incredible view. Some people choose to look out while walking the whole circle, while others choose a place to stop and stare out into Tokyo for a while. We did a little of both. While you're here, you can visit the cafe for a snack and have a coffee. And for the bold, they have the glass floor. Standing 350 meters above Tokyo with nothing else but a glass window and a plenty of structural support separating you from the ground below. Hardly anyone has ever fallen through it. For legal purposes, nobody has ever fallen through it. That we know of. Once you're done on the Tembo deck, it's time for another elevator ride. This time, instead of flashing lights and music, it's windows and daylight. I chose to look straight up. It made for a really cool view. The next stop is the Tembo Galleria on the 445th floor. This floor for ghost stuff to do in exchange for atmosphere and views upon views upon views. Each direction is labeled with informational panel to show you what you're looking at outside and a glass tube circles the building up to the 450th floor. Totally worth the extra cost. Though maybe don't look straight down if you're prone to vertigo. There are two levels of admission, the basic Tembo Deck ticket and the combo ticket that takes you to both the Tembo Deck and the Tembo Galleria. If you're coming here, we recommend the combo ticket. It's well worth the additional cost, and it's the tallest building in Japan. Come on! At the time of this recording, the basic ticket costs 1800 yen or about 13 US dollars for advanced tickets, or 2100 yen or about 15 US dollars for same day tickets. The combo ticket will cost you 2700 yen or 3100 yen respectively. It sounds like a big price difference, but that's only about $7 to see both levels. We recommend booking ahead on the website. You can do so up to 30 days in advance. Tickets do sell out on high traffic days and you wouldn't want to ruin your visit to the Tokyo Sky Tree Tower. On our way back down from the tower, we stopped at the Kirby Cafe. It turns out Kirby's a pretty big deal in Japan. This cafe serves cute Kirby themed snacks alongside a pretty sizable collection of Kirby memorabilia and some selfie opportunities. The main cafe requires a reservation and unfortunately we weren't able to get a seat, but luckily there's a smaller side cafe in the gift shop where you can get a to-go order. Of course I'm gonna eat Kirby. I mean, Kirby eats everybody else. It's only fair. Mm. Be sure to book your reservation early if you want to see the cafe in its entirety. We chose to partake in some strawberry buns that looked like Kirby. I'm deciding what part of the face I want to eat first. And some kind of peaches and jelly drink, and it, I think it had glitter in it. It was pretty good, but I have no idea what the flavor was. Both the buns and the drink were delicious. You get a lot of peaches in the straw, so it's hard to actually physically drink it. I don't know what the flavor of the drink is, but the peaches are good. 
With so much to do at the Tokyo Skytree, you could spend all day here. Or if you're determined and not so distractible as we are, you could spend a couple of hours here. It all depends on the adventure you want at the Tokyo Skytree. Thank you so much for joining us today. Japan was a truly life-changing experience and we are so excited to share our adventures with you. Let us know in the comments below if you would brave the glass floor. And if you're interested in more videos from our trip to Japan, follow the link on the right to see more. And until next time, have a high-flying adventure. Don't get vertigo.